Hello everyone. So in this video, I will be showing you how to convert from flow data type to integer data type in Java. So let's get started. And I will be showing you three methods or four methods here. Okay. So here I am having a float variable f 2.56. Okay. So the first method is using type casting our float to integer. Okay. So let, let me declare an integer variable. So let uh, i be my integer variable. Okay. So what I'm going to do is i equal to this is type casting. Okay. Direct type casting int within bracket and I will put here f. That's it. And in the next line, you can just go and print it out. Okay. System dot out dot print and you can just print i. Okay. So just save it and become my code. And as you can see here, 2.56 has been typecasted to integer type and we are getting the output as 2. So, but there's a problem in this method. The problem is that 2.56 is actually closer to 3. Okay, so it's just general common sense. If you round off something which is above 2.5, it should be 3. But we are getting downgraded value 2. Okay, so this is the problem by using this typecasting method. To solve this, we can use the round function which is present in the math class. So how it is done is that, uh, just go over here, remove the typecasting function and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put math dot round, okay. So we will get a list of options, you put math dot, so many options are there. So here I'll be using only round, we're putting round and it takes a float value, so f and we are good to go, just save it and again do the same thing, compile it and just run it. And as you can see here, this time we are getting 3 because the closest whole number to 2.56 is 3 and it, it is in 2. So let me just put this below 2.5. Let me put 2.4. Okay. So the closest whole number to 2.4 is 2. And let me see how this round function now works. I have saved it and compiling it, running it. So this time I'm getting 2. So this is a really good thing. Okay. Match the round. It just rounds off our floating variable. To the closest integer number really simple and now there's another condition okay let's suppose say that i am having 2.4 but i need to get rounded this to the highest nearest whole number so highest in, uh, whole number nearer to 2.4 is 3 okay and 2 is the lowest one it is like a range 2.4 lies between 2 and 3 where 3 being the high end and 2 being the low end so if i use round of 2.4 i will be getting 2 in the output which i don't want i know i need to get 3 in the output in that case, really a simple change. Uh, just go over here and we will be using math.seal. Okay. So this helps us to get the high end value and just pass the floating variable semicolon, save it. And even though it is closest to 2.2, our 2.4 will be getting converted as 3 here. Okay. Now I will just run it. So now I am getting an error possible lossy conversion from double to int okay the main reason is because math dot seal after conversion returns a double so this is double and we are just assigning a double to of integer data type i so that's why we are getting this error so simplest way to solve it is just typecast it okay so int that's it so now this returns a double this double is getting typecasted to int and it's stored in an integer data type i so now it will work fine and even our 2.4 is less than 2.5, we will be getting a rounded off value as 3 in the output. So let me just save it. And, and as you can see here, I am getting the output as 3. Okay. So that's that works well and good. And let us also do another case over here. If I put 2.9, okay, I, I am having a float of variable value 2.9. And I want to round this value as 2. So if you use here our normal math round function, it will return integer value 3. But we need only two, that is the lowest range. Okay. In that case, what we will use is instead of math.seal, we will be using math.floor. Okay. Well, w -R. Same thing, instead of seal is like a highest limit, highest limit, floor is the lower end. Okay. So if you just save it and if I just run it again, so I'll be getting two. Whether it is like even though it is whatever value it may be between. 2.0 till 2.9 something it will give the output as only 2 so we have see, i have shown you like three methods one is by using the typecasting this is over here typecasting that method and another method is by using math.round function 
2 to 2.5 and 2.5 to 3 it just rounds off based on the nearest whole number and if you aren't bothered about the whole number and other stuff just lower end or high end you can use the math.floor as well as math.seal functions okay so i hope you have found this video useful and for my channel i've run videos in c c plus plus java python as well as sql query questions interview questions 3d animation using blender so do check out the results of my channel subscribe and support me thanks for watching